five years, five fucking years of pushing back the wedding. Five. Who the fuck would do that? Violet, I love you. Will you marry me? This engagement party is a moment to celebrate a new future, but not without first exploring a past. So the five-year engagement was a film that I wasn't really excited for, and the trailer didn't really do it for me. I, I was just not really excited for this film. But it was coming from the same director of Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and he has worked with, you know, Jason Siegel, and it's produced by Judd Apatow, so that's always a plus. So the plot for this film is quite simple, it's basically about these couple that they decide to get married, but the girl gets a, a job in Michigan, uh, and this guy, they talk it out, they're like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this for you because I love you, we could push back the wedding for a whole year, we're gonna go, we're gonna get settled, and then we get married. One year goes into five years, comedy and drama ensue. Mm -hmm. So this film it actually surprised me. I wasn't excited for the film and I came out enjoying it. It was a good comedy. It was funny. Now something that I need to clear out before I go into the performances is that this film is not a full-on comedy I mean yeah there's a lot of comedy in the film but there are quite a couple surprises in there that there is drama and a serious take on what couples go through uh, through a relationship so there is that so first let's go into the performances of the film and before I start off with the main cast let me go and say that Alison Brie oh my god she is hot I mean like extremely hot I haven't gotten to uh, see community but oh my god she is extremely hot I just found my new crush here man yeah she that woman is uh, that is a real woman right there but anyways Jason Siegel Jason Siegel oh yeah oh that, that Jason Siegel fucking guy lives and breathes comedy he is a comedic genius he has it all. He is a brilliant actor, a great comedic actor. He had me laughing throughout the whole film. I mean, he is the best part out of the whole film. I mean, he has so many great lines. He will have you laughing. We also have Emily Blunt. And honestly, I will say this. Emily Blunt, for me, in, in, in her films, is usually hit and miss. But in this film, I actually quite liked her. I believe that chemistry between Jason Segel and Emily Blunt they really connected, they seem to really, you know, have that strong chemistry and I believe the relationship and, you know, everything that they were going through. Now, like I was saying, the comedy is really there. It, it will have you laughing throughout. I mean, if you don't laugh throughout the film, you, sir, just, or ma'am, just, no. I mean, there's this one thing that goes on throughout the film involving the grandparents and it was pretty damn funny every time that it happened I was just like god damn that's hilarious even though it's a bit sad but it, I laughed but yes there is a but as much as I laughed throughout the film there were a couple of moments where it was completely silent throughout the theater but mostly it was the first couple 30 to 40 minutes that it was a complete amount of silence. I mean there was a couple of jokes here and there but some of them fall flat in their asses that I, I just I mean no. Same goes for the drama. The drama it, it, sometimes there are, there are moments that it really doesn't really go well with the film and the cliché-ness. Oh god the cliché-ness. Just know the film is a bit cliché. So overall the film is solid. It's a good comedy. It will have you laughing. There are a couple of dramatic scenes, dark and serious uh, relationship problems. Definitely recommend it. Go see it with a, a couple uh, of ladies, men, I don't know, you know. Definitely recommend it. Four out of five stars. See it. I recommend it. Come on. Come on. 